Let's take a look at weight questions. Now these are a mixture of calculator and non-calculator. I will mention the questions where you're allowed to use a calculator. So first of all, we need to convert grams into kilos. So we know hopefully that 1000 grams equals one kilo. So if we're going from kilos into grams, we're multiplying by 1000. So if we're going from grams into kilos, we are dividing by 1000. So if we're going grams to kilos here, we need to divide these numbers by 1,000. 2,000 divided by 1,000 is 2. 1,000 divided by 1,000 is 1. So when you've got three zeros and you're dividing by 1,000, just chop off those three zeros. 300 grams, this one's a bit harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 300 as a decimal, 300.0. And I'm going to put some zeros to the left-hand side of it. Now, when you're dividing by 1,000, you're moving the decimal point three positions and because we're dividing, we're going to move it to the left. So one, two, three. So the answer is zero, zero point three, zero, zero, zero. Now, hopefully you can appreciate that this first zero doesn't need to be there. And these zeros here aren't doing anything useful either. So therefore the answer is zero point three. So therefore 800 will be zero point eight. 390, let's write it as a decimal, 390.0. Put some zeros in front, move the decimal point one, two, three positions. So the answer is 0 0.39. 2620 is 2620.0, which we need to divide by a thousand. So one, two, three, two point six two. Four grams, I'm going to write that as 4.0, but I'm going to stack some zeros on the left hand side so that it's easy to move the decimal points. Otherwise, it's not obvious where you're moving the decimal point to. And the answer is therefore 0 0.004. 38 grams is 38.0 grams. Again, I'll put some zeros in front so that the decimal point can slot in there nice and easily. So the answer is 0 0.038. 21119 grams is 21119.0. Move the decimal point three positions. We get 21.119. 616 is 616.0. Again, the number's quite short, so I'll put a few zeros on the end. Move the decimal point three positions, so it's going to be 0 0.616 kilos. Kilos into grams, we are now going to be multiplying by 1,000. So if it's a whole number, just stick three zeros on the end, nice and easy. 1.4. Um, what you might want to do is write 1.4 with several zeros. Uh, to the right. Multiplying by a thousand means we're going to move the decimal point three positions and this time to the right. So one, two, three, because you want to make the number bigger. So the answer is 1400. 2.21, I'm going to write as 2.21 with uh, an arbitrary number of zeros after it. Move the decimal point one, two, three positions. So the answer is 2210. 0 0.986, again put some zeros on the end, move it one, two, three positions, that's 986.0 grams, so 986 grams. 0 0.024, again stick some zeros on the end to move the decimal point really easily, that's 24 grams. 3.981, move the decimal point three positions, 3981. 26.2, again, decimal point is moving three positions because we're multiplying by a thousand, so it's going to be 26200.0, but you can, you can forget the point zero, so just leave it as 26,200. 311 multiplied by a thousand, just stick three zeros on the end, and finally 0 0.002, put a few zeros on to be on the safe side, one, two, three, that's two grams. Question number three, and the, uh, we're allowed to use a calculator for this question, although some of them are dead easy, like the first one, 300 plus 200 is 500. 250, probably should put grams there as well. That's 800 grams, seven kilos. Definitely don't need a calculator for that one. D, it's okay to use a calculator for zero to two grams. E is 11.5 kilos. I'm just being careful that we have the same units all the time. Um, so far we do. F, if we add these up, we're gonna get 1.209 kilos. G is 184 grams. 
H 0.037 kilos. I is um, 53255 grams and uh, J is 69.63 kilos. Question four, and this is also a calculator question. Combined weight of bread, butter and cheese. So 400 plus 150 plus 175 is 725 grams. Butter, ham, chocolate bar, 150 plus 100 plus 65, that's 315 grams. The total weight of the shopping, just add all of these numbers together using the calculator, you'll get 1,458 uh, grams. And this, this question's a bit unusual. Um, Carlos plans to eat the chocolate bar, so he packs everything else into the carrier bag. The carrier bag can hold 1500 grams without breaking. Will it break? Well, no, it won't break. It's not gonna break even if he leaves the chocolate bar in there because 1458 is less than 1500, so no, it will not break. Question number five, again, we can use the calculator here. So after day one, he's uh, removed 500 grams, so 2000 grams minus 500 is 1500 grams. So it's 1500 grams and then day two is 1500 take away 220, which again using the calculator is nice and easy. So after day two, it's 1280. After day three, it's gonna be 1280 take away uh, 350, which is 930. And on day four, it's gonna be 930 minus 90, which is 840 grams. And on day five, it weighs uh, 500 grams. So if it was 840 the day before, and now it's 500, the difference between these is 840 take away 500, meaning that 340 grams of ice was removed. Okay, what I'm gonna do first of all with this one, just to speed up these calculations a little bit, um, is work out the combined weight of A, B, C, and D. Um, so A is going to be 3 times 500, which is 1500. B is 8 times 1600, which is 12,800. C is 2 th times 5000, which is 10,000. And D is, um, sorry, that was C rather, I've got these the wrong way around. So that is D, that's a bit annoying. And C is 25 times by 100 which is 2,500. Okay, so um, I wouldn't say you need to do what I've just done to start off, but you'll find that by doing the questions, you'll be writing this several times. So I'm just saving a bit of time with my explanation here. So the total weight of plant A, uh, sorry, type A plant pots is 1,500. B and D is gonna be 12,800 plus 10,000, which is uh, 22,800. The total weight is all of these weights added together and that comes to a total of 26,800. The difference between uh, B and C is the difference between 12,800 and 2,500. So 12,800 minus 2,500. So that is a difference of 10,300. Uh, what's heavier, A and D combined? Well, A and D combined that is a total of 10,000 plus 1,500, so that's 11,500. And B and C combined is 12,800 plus 2,500, uh, which is 15,300. So 15,300 is greater than 11,500, so B and C combined is heavier than A and D combined. So 6F, Tom's got a shelf in his shed that can support 3,500 grams. So can he put two type B on there? Well, type B is 1,600. So 1,600 times two, that's 3,200. So already he's quite close. And he's adding on top four type C. So that's four times by 100, which is 400. So combine these together, that comes to a total of 3,600. That's gonna to be too much weight for the shelf because 3,600 is greater than 3,500, so can he put that on the shelf? The answer is no. So question seven is a calculator question. 
Um, so what we're doing is we're sharing 5.04 kilos of lasagna between 16 people. So 5.04 divided by 16 works out as 0.315 kilos per person or 315 grams per person. Now that we've done part A, B, C, D, E are very easy. It's exactly the same, dividing by 18 or 20, 21 and 24. But since we're sharing the same amount, but among more people, that should result in a, a smaller amount per person. So B works out as 0 0.28, C 0 0.252, 0 0.24, and finally, 0.21. So if that question wasn't too bad, it was quite repetitive in the end. Question eight, we can use a calculator. Now the key thing here is to remember that we have uh, mixed units. So either change the grams into kilos or the kilos into grams. So for A, what I would do is I would convert two kilos into grams, so that's 2,000 grams. So that's 2,400 grams or 2.4 kilos. 3 kilos is 3,000 grams, so in total that's 3,600 or 3.6 kilos. This is 1,100 grams, so add those together we get 1,550 or 1.55 kilos. This is 850 grams, so adding these up we're going to get uh, 2,440 grams or 2.44 kilos. This is 589 grams. So add those together, we're gonna get 1,230 or 1 1.23 kilos. F, what we've got here is uh, 110 grams plus 24. So in grams, that's 134 or in kilos, 0 0.134. This is 25 grams, 25 grams plus 11 grams is 36 grams or 0 0.036 kilos. This is 1.623 kilos. Uh, and if I add that to the 0 0.844, I'm going to get 2.467, which is 2,467 grams. This is 11.225 kilos. Add that to the 23.454, and we're going to get 34.679, which is 34,679 grams. Uh, this is 960 grams plus 151 grams comes to 1,111 or 1.111 kilos. Question number nine, Clementine wants to buy one and a half kilos of potatoes. Why shouldn't she buy bag C? Well, I'll tell you why, because bag C is 12 and a half kilos, which is massive. So bag C is just crazily big. So too big or too heavy. Um, B is a bit of a strange question. What are the different ways we can buy exactly 1.5 kilos? Remember, this is 1,500 grams. So you could, um, there's a few, well, quite a few ways you can do this actually. A plus B, three times B. D is half of B. So if you can buy three Bs, then that means you can buy six Ds for the same weight. You can have one B plus 4D, you could have uh, 2B plus 2D, and I think there's one other way you can do it. Yes, you can have an, uh, one bag of A and two bags of D. So quite uh, six different ways you can do that. So, uh, kind of an unusual question, that one. So Clementine buys bag E, which is two kilos, she only needs one and a half kilos or 1.5. So two take away 1.5 is 0 0.5 kilos. Multiply that one by 1000, turns it into grams. So um, she has 500 grams of additional potatoes. Question 10, uh, this is a calculator question. So Elise, sorry, Elsie intends to send 25 package A, so that's 25 times 50 kilos. So that comes to 1,250 kilos. Small truck's got a capacity of 2,000, so no, that's not too heavy. There's plenty of room left at 750 kilos spare. Uh, B, she wants 34 package A's. So 34 multiplied by 50, comes to a total of 1700. 
so there's 300 kilos spare and she wants to fill the 300 kilos with a four kilo package so how many fours go into 300 that is 75 so she can fit 75 package ease on the truck uh, be careful with C because A is 50 kilos and B is 500 grams so A is 50 kilos which is 50,000 grams whereas B is 500 grams so how many times bigger is it well what do you multiply 500 by to turn it into 50,000 well 50,000 is 500 with two zeros so that means we're multiplying by 100 so it's 100 times bigger Elsie says I can fit 150,000 package C's on a large truck is she correct well 150,000 multiplied by package C which is 50 grams that equals quite a large amount which I'm and remember this amount is in grams so if I now divide that by 1,000 I've got it in kilos and that works out as 70 sorry 7,500 kilos uh, can that fit on a large truck? Well, a large truck's got a capacity of uh, 10,000. So yes, yeah, she's correct. She can definitely fit 7,500 kilos into a large truck. No problem at all. So Molly's got three containers of sugar with the following weights of sugar in them. One and a half kilos, 500 grams and 1.2 kilos. Container B is two thirds full. So how much sugar can it hold when it's full? So what we know is that two thirds corresponds to 500 grams. So if two thirds is 500, then one third is gonna be half of that amount, which is 250. So therefore three thirds, which is the full amount, is gonna be triple 250. So that's gonna be 750, uh, 750 grams. Sugar is poured from container A to container B until container B is full. So we know that container B can hold 750. So let's just write this out. We've got uh, A, which is, I'm gonna put this in grams. So that is uh, 1500 grams. B is 500 grams and C is 1200 grams. This might make things a bit easier. Um, so sugar is poured from A to B until it's full. So when it's full, B will have 750. So to go from 500 to 750, we've added 250. So that means A has reduced by 250. So A is now 1,250. So uh, now it says, what is the difference between the amount of sugar left in A and the amount in C? Well, 1,250 versus 1,200, that is a difference of 50 grams. So um, we are just checking to see whether we needed to express that in kilos. It doesn't say, but if you want, you could write that as 0.05 kilos. That'd be perfectly fine as well. Question C says half of the contents of container C are poured into container A. So what is half of 1200? That's 600. So 1200 will be reduced to 600 and the remaining 600 will be added to A to turn this into 1850. And so the answer to C is 1,850 or 1 1.85 kilos. 1850 is the grams, of course. Molly's baking a cake. The recipe calls for 1,100 grams of sugar. Is there enough left in containers B and C for this? Well, in container B, we've got 750. And in container C, we have 600. Again, we can use a calcula calculator for this. So 600 plus 750 uh, comes to a total of 1,350. So yes, she's got more than enough sugar for that. She's got an extra 250 grams. And finally, Molly decides instead to get all 1100 grams of the sugar from container A. So container A contains 1850. So all we need to do is subtract the uh, 1100 from it. Again, use a calculator, um, but it's easy enough just to do it kind of almost in your head really. Um, but it's totally acceptable, of course, to use a calculator. Um, so the answer is 750 grams.